Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to get started on the Yamo Envelop, sorry, the Nota Collections Envelop Yamo series. And this is our Ronin Nuda. So, now, I know I talked about doing Onimusha, but this is probably the closest thing we're going to get that is similar to Onimusha. Because the Swordmaster is slightly different, but this is definitely amongst the Onimusha vibes. Uh, and I was talking with those guys and we talked about how... Um, it's pretty cool because you know we all love Onimusha, and there is another series uh, based upon it. I can't remember the name as I do this video, but I'm trying to I'm gonna try to put it in the comments. But we talked about it and was like, this is why we like series like this. But I digress. We're just off talking about animes and series like that. But just like with Monkey King, I'm super duper damn dude. <laughs> so just like with Monkey King, I'm super duper excited to to talk about these because I really like the way they've been doing these figures now uh we have a beautiful head sculpt we have our kimono and gi like i really really like like this now as far as our look on it if you want to get a really nice look on that head sculpt let's change our focus doo, 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 doo. right look at that that is a beautiful sculpt we have a bun in the back he is a ronin and as far as our articulation and look on it this is where it gets pretty cool because articulation wise right because we have a little bit more room with our with our kimono right our arms can get a little bit past the t pose we can get similar to that of a y pose we do have a bicep swivel these joints are actually pretty tight so i, I got to be very careful we have a butterfly joint as you're seeing here we have a beautiful double joint which i love we have a very beautiful ab crunch that doesn't like fold up or bunch and we can tilt to the side the same with our head we actually get a ton of human like range that keeps you so that means when you want to do quick draw poses from like drawing your, your blade let's say you have it on your side you should be able to do that like this see then as far as our legs go we can actually go all the way out right there is room because you know, baggy pants. You got to keep it regular, right? Or pantalones, depending on if you Spanish. Zapatos. <laughs> but yes, look at this. So, as far as drawing our blade, are getting really cool poses. Look at that already. We have very good posability. There's a lot of room for maneuver and movement here, and I love every moment. Of it. Even if you pull it up, you can see, like, there's even decent. Look at that ankle pivot. It's very nice right it means mid-air poses right look at this Oop, let me just i hit the camera <laughs> but look at that this is really really good so as far as our posability we are there as far as i look as far as i'm concerned this is definitely onimusha adjacent so it has my vote <laughs> like i said i am here for anything onimusha related and if you want to get super crazy you can go with an an offbeat dynasty warriors muso like game so i'm here like i love this kind of stuff so with that being said though we're going to take the time to jump into accessories and yes i will point out you can remove his clothing and gi with little to no issue but the reason why i'm not going to remove it is because i'm terrible at tying this and i don't want to do that over i'm going to be 100 with you so we're going to jump into accessories i'll see you guys in all right let's get into talking about our accessories and before i continue the anime name was actually Nura, same as this character, Rise of the Yokai Clan. So, if you want to look that up, not a bad anime. But, um, yes. So, we actually get a nice set of accessories with him. And this is considered the deluxe version. It's as part of the three-pack. It is my second video out of the three that I'm doing from the three-pack. So, let's say you want a different look. Like I said, he is a Ronin. So, let us talk about one of the things. He actually has a Ronin straw hat with actual real string that you can pop on his head. And I really like the way this looks. This is a beautiful hat, which means when you get other stuff or you want to put it on different characters, it's fine. There's also the straw cloak as well. These are beautifully done and it's semi soft. So that way when you want to put it on, it should fit in just fine, right? I'll do pictures with him with that on for obvious reasons. Then we're going to talk about some of our smaller accessories. If you want, you actually get a demon's mask. This also has string attached to it to go right around the head. So you'll get a nice look at that. I'm going to try some different combinations of photos. You will get a tiny amulet, and I do mean very tiny. 
this is to wear around the neck or if you want I'm trying to use it as a, a tool to have in hand you'll also get a pipe and I'm gonna say this is for like opium because it's probably meant to fix to be in the times so here we have our opium pipe right or tobacco let's say tobacco we have a metal or medallion I should say then we have a sake bottle or just overall alcohol bottle you know we have a rice ball then we do get an alternative sculpt which is what our powers activated here we have an alternative yokai sculpt this is pretty crazy because I was also shown that it does glow under black light wasn't sure that it was a deal I don't have a black light on me but I was shown it so if you want to test it out for yourself feel free to but I'm doing I do enjoy this demon head it does look really really good next up we will get some of our weapons I'll do the hands last we actually have a sheath version of our sword and you actually do get you can just unsheath it normally which is pretty cool like I like that it came like that I thought it was gonna be a part swap and I don't enjoy part swaps so it's pretty cool that we actually got this let's actually back you up a little bit because I don't know what's up with my focus I thought I had this fixed with the new lens there we go next we'll get two versions of the blade extended due to its magical power we will have the normal extended version as well as the powered up version which does glow under black light then we have a powered up hand feeling very devil may cry right here very Nero and you can get this by just popping off the arm just like with monkey king I'll put a link in the description for that one last but not least we actually have a full powered soul sword now we're going to talk about our hands so let's get to that give you a quick break in case you want to grab some water we'll jump to it. now we're going to continue to talk about our hand accessories so here we have two of our larger action gripping hands these can also be used for grabbing larger items but i would surely mostly use these for action hands in my opinion looking pretty cool next up you'll get a long pointing hand this is going to be for holding a particular set of items for instance like drawing the sword or using it for other things but yeah let's oh it's not the sword actually this is for your opium pipe i'm tripping this is one of when you want to get your opium on let's <laughs> keep this in mind next up now you'll get your item holding hands as you can see my hand is out i figure out the focus on a new camera so <laughs> here we are with our item holding hands Next up, you'll get sword drawing slash better item holding hands. These ones are going to vary. They are not. I thought I figured it out. I don't know why it's tripping on me now. So what's funny is you'll get one for this one is going to hold uh, another one of your opium. Like, let's say if you wanted to draw it upward, this one is going to be sword drawing hand. I mean, yes, the sword drawing hand. I don't know why I got that messed up, but yeah. This is for when you want a quick draw and you draw it from a sheath like this. See? Fits like a glove. Yes. And then you have a second set of item holding hands. So even if you wish to dual weld, you can. And these ones actually do not open up completely. So if you want to slice them to open it up, I would recommend it if not it's totally fine and that will wrap up all of our accessories so we do have a lot like i said in the fixtures i will cover a bunch of the different looks and hopefully you'll enjoy now let's get to the size comparison i'll see you guys in a sec all right now we're up to the size comparison obviously we will compare to the other two in the set so let's do that here we are with our monkey king first up gotta make sure he was nicely posed up so here we are with our monkey king which i have to fix his gi because it's all over the place then we have sword master so here we are with our sword master and as you can see this is a beautiful set it shows off all three of them 
a bunch of different things but i really feel like noda really knows what they're doing cannot wait to see what else they do do onimusha do onimusha i would love that so <laughs> let's take these guys away right let's talk about some other characters that we can use so i think the one of the ones i can compare is here is one of the fushi ninjas here's one of my kit bashes and i feel like we can actually use that character pretty well against the notice stuff here we are with a mythic legions kit bash barbarian that i have so you can see how he stacks up uh i forgot to grab my conan but yes this technically can also work with conan as well i'll try to fit him in the photos here we are with a marvel legends orb because in the Marvel Universe, anybody could be from any time, and it does not even matter. Uh, here we are with a Power Rangers uh, Abari Killer. Right? Oh, not Abari Killer. Uh, for America, it would be a White Dino Ranger. Here we are with Mezco Ichigo on a Stealth Gomez slash Black Skulls body. And in case you wanted to throw some, some other types of ninjas in there, here we are with G.I. Joe Classified Storm Shadow. Next up for Common Rider, and here we are with SHF Common Rider Black Sun. So you can see what it's like with some SHF. So yeah, I think that about rounds up the size stuff. Uh, I'm probably gonna have him go up against orcs and do all sorts of other crazy stuff. So I hope that you guys will enjoy that. In the meantime, thank you so much for enjoying and the patience in the videos lately. I've been trying to put out a lot of fun stuff. Like I said, stuff that I can really get jiggy to. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate you guys. And everything that you've done for me so hopefully this is something that i can do for you i've also been playing around with the idea of doing videos without photos just so i can have more stuff out i don't know how you guys feel about that because i personally really love the photos but i don't know i'm, I'm actually eager to hear your thoughts um so put put it in there see what you think please don't go crazy and try to be insulting i just that is not how you get attention but um but yeah for real thank you uh, I do mean that. Um, and now I'm rambling. But in any case, you know the deal. Please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.